So I wanted to cover all the skills that we've gone over and give you one spot that you can go to see these. So this exercise here is called Relax on a Mat. And what we're looking for from our little cutie here is for him to continue to go into increasingly relaxed body postures. So, perfect. So him coming on over to the mat and then giving us a DOW end and then putting his little chin down is as relaxed as he can get. This is absolutely perfect. So this is a command-free exercise. We never say anything during this. We remain silent. The uh, trigger for him or the cue is the mat. As soon as we break out his towel, he knows this is what we're doing. And this will really start to desensitize and counter condition him to anything that gets him overly anxious or excited. So we've done a lot of relax on a mat as soon as we get out the front door when we're leashed up and really helps him understand that perfect when we get outside that it's nothing to be too concerned about and that he can relax. So we started utilizing this for uh, fearful dogs and then aggressive dogs and then started to realize that every dog should have this tool in their toolbox. So I've had folks use it for dog-friendly hotels, for plane rides, um, puppies to get super excited around 7 in the evening, um, dogs that go to dog parks to get uh, really overexcited as soon as they get out of the car. And when their body language is really relaxed like this, it's sending a signal to their brain, letting them know that everything is okay, uh, we are nice and relaxed. Um, so the next time they see it, they'll be a little more relaxed, so on and so forth. And um, basically things go the other way. If a dog gets really wound up and gets really tense and rigid when they see something, the next time they see it, they're going to be more primed to be concerned about it. And um, that's when you get the barking or maybe they're lunging or pulling. And... Uh, all these just won't pay attention, all these bad behaviors that occur when our dog is uh, a little bit too wound up and too excited. So this is a, a crucial exercise for us and um, a really important tool for our toolbox. Um, another thing that we've done with Mr. Payton is having him sit before we go through each doorway and it really helps uh, dogs to realize that they need to wait and um, it's basically like saying please when a dog says please can I go through the doorway and then we let you through and just giving them that brief period that they realize they can't just um, immediately go for it so uh, one thing that has been really impactful for the little guy next we're going to go over our name game so we really want to focus in really well when we say his name hey just take a treat drag it up towards my face and click the instant that he makes eye contact. Next time, just wait until he's distracted. Hey, good. And then I'll say his name as soon as he makes eye contact again. Then we can create an artificial distraction, drag a treat out to the side. Hey, he's got to come back and make eye contact. And then lastly, I'll take a treat, throw it on the ground. He's still finding his other treat. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Hey. Very good. And as soon as he hones in on us, we're going to give him a quick and a treat. Let's try that again. Hey. Good. So you want to be able to be distracted, focused on something else, and then clue back in on you. And then that's always a great segue into Hey, Come. All right. So on this one, um, you can give him a treat when he comes up. It's the only other exercise you don't need a clicker for. Now let's go over our anti-jumping exercise. Hey, Space. So what we're looking for on this one is about a two foot bubble around us and I'm going to give him uh, a click when he stops shy and I always like to treat him from the ground. Did you miss your treat buddy? Here it is. Uh, when we're doing this exercise that everything comes from down low because we don't want him to be focused on anything up high when we're uh, trying to combat jumping. So let's try one from behind. Space. Try that one again. Big space. Good. 
So you notice sometimes he just stands there, sometimes he gives me a sit. I don't care if he gives me a sit. I just want this bubble around me. Now let's try one from the side. Space. And then let's do one where we're a little bit more wound up. Hey. 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 Space. Very good. Um, so getting a little more wound up. It's very, very good. Um, making it as, as realistic as possible. Last side note on that, I like to make it a preventative measure. Catch him before a dog has an opportunity to jump up on me. Um, what I know he's going to be more prone to. And um, you can do this for yourself as well as uh, a partner or a guest that's coming over for your house. You can tell them space. And um, we'll go over that uh, in our exit session, show you what that looks like. Lead it. Lead it. Good. Um, so that is a lead it exercise. We just want a real definitive pullback which is uh, what he is giving us that's perfect and exactly what we're looking for. Um, and I like to use as many different items as we can. So we've got a stick here. Lead it. Good. Um, and it just makes it more universal. And one last thing is that we can um, have him to where he's chewing on this or just starting to get interested in it. So we've done so many repetitions with our stick, he doesn't even want to go after it. Give you a treat for that. Good job, buddy. Um, so you can utilize as many different items as you want, and it's an excellent way to prime your dog to understand um, when they're going after something, they should um, leave it on command. So that was very, very good. Hey, come. Yeah. Oh. Hey, touch. Oh, boy. So this is a targeting exercise. Good job, buddy. Hey, touch. So we want to be able to go wherever um, we need him to go without having to physically coerce him. So touch. Um, and so we'll just put our hand down. We're looking for him to come up and bump our nose with his hand. Uh, it's the beginning of agility training, uh, getting dogs to go inside, outside poles, up ramps. Um, it's all simply targeting, getting your dog to follow a target. So. That is perfect, sir. Very, very good. Peyton, come. Peyton, come. Good boy, sit. Good job, bud. Peyton. Now let's stop you going out of, out of camera here. Peyton, come. Peyton, down. Good job, bud. Peyton, stay. So we've got a good sit down stay and his release cue uh, to let him know that he has completed his mission is free um, and that's when he knows that um, he is done and that he has uh, accomplished the criteria, what it is that you're looking for. Uh, so that is perfect. We are going to get Mr. Peyton leashed up now and um, go over his loose leash walking. So. You are a very, very good boy.